All right, what I've got here is uh, two oil filters. Uh, this isn't a direct comparison because they're these two filters. First of all, don't go to the same thing. They're not the same size, and they're both used in completely different situations. This was on a car for about 3,500 miles. Uh, and so it's a fairly newer filter. It's within this year, and this one over here was on a tractor. And tractor interchange, oil change intervals are uh, by hours that the tractor is run. So that means that if the tractor isn't run that much, it's going to go a long time without an oil change. Which means this filter was soaked in oil for at least, in my situation, four years. So it's not the average test for a car. But um, it's just to show you what was in it. This is also from the late 90s or early 2000s, something like that. And um, so it look, as you can see, it looks different than the ones that are on the shelves today. But this is just going to go over the different things that are inside of each of them. Um, this is probably your only accurate description for these two because this is fairly new. It's not too old, it's only about a year old probably. And um, this one here is just to show you what frame used to look like. I've never seen anybody open up another one of these on YouTube. I've only seen the newer ones. So I'd like to see if anything's changed over time. My preference is Wix and any oil filter. So this oil filter came off my car. So I put a Wix back on it when I did my oil change. So I'd like to see what was in that one. So this will be a pretty fair um, comparison to other filters, not this one. Um, and for, to, for Fram, this isn't a really good example either. This was also used on a diesel tractor. So diesels uh, run they, they produce more soot and the oil is going to be dirtier and oil is probably changed a bit too late with this one as well so I don't expect this one to be in good shape at all it doesn't have anything good going for it anyway the frame filter is quite heavy even though I've had them both tipped over for about the same time but in comparison this one's a lot heavier than this one is I don't know if it's because um, there's oil trapped in this one it might be a little bit sloshing around in there. But this one should be completely empty. This one's probably almost double the weight. It's quite a bit more. I don't have anything to give me numerical results on that, but um, I know this one's almost twice as heavy as that one. But anyway, I'm gonna start I'm gonna cut them open and probably right about next to that seam. So really this isn't a comparison for today's frame, it's just the older ones. I wanna see what they used to look like in comparing to today's. And this is here is the, if I get it focused, this is the Fram PH3593A. Uh, it's, it's their extra guard version from a while ago. And somewhere on here, should say, made in the USA. I do recall seeing it on here somewhere. Here it is. It does say made in the USA at the, at the time. This is probably late 90s or early 2000s. And on the valvoline filter, this one here is a V0-16 and this one on a GM engine, the 3.8 and this one does say made in USA as well so I'll cut these both open and see what's inside well after I've got it I'll cut it open I'll start off by saying that uh, this filter had a lot of oil trapped into it after I just started cutting through it, the first little hole I made, it just started pouring out. So, um, I got a lot of the oil out, so the comparison wasn't very much. But this one, all the oil pretty much started to come out of it. So, all I've done was I've just cut the top off, and this one actually just came right off. I didn't do anything, but this one, I when I finished cutting it, it didn't, it looks like the whole thing wants to come out, so I'm just gonna, I just decided to wait till the video to take it all apart. But anyway, yeah, this one definitely, uh, it's not your average conditions for an oil filter. Um, very, it's just flat black. There's no way you can look at it any lighter. Like usually when oil's in a pan, it looks darker than it really is until you put on a rag and you see, oh, it's not too bad. This is just flat black. There's no way you can ever look at it any lighter. Anyway, I'm going to do this one first since it's not as bad. Surprisingly, this one does have metal end caps. In here. The little the spring that keeps the filter together. Looks like at the bottom there are a few uh, 
contaminants in that oil. A little bit sludgy. This is only about 3,500 miles. So, shouldn't have been too bad. And then, yeah, this comes apart. This is uh, probably the heaviest part of the whole filter. You've got the anti drain back valve. I don't know if it's rubber or silicone, and I don't know if it'll tell by looking at it. Found that pretty good though. Feels more like rubber to me. I don't think this is silicone. And that's it. There's, no, I guess, there's no bypass valve with this uh, oil filter here. Doesn't seem to be any other way the oil would go. But by looking at these uh, cleats here, they're not too bad. I'm a little more impressed with this filter than I than the other ones that I've seen on YouTube of the Valvoline filters. Um, this one actually I wouldn't mind putting on my car, but but on the GM engine that I have, there's an adapter on the, where the oil filter goes, and that adapter ha is supposed to have a bypass built into it. But those can sometimes fail. I'd rather have one in the filter as well. So that's not necessarily important on my car. But it's still nice to have that. It might have been designed because of that. But looking at the actual element, it doesn't look like there's any sludge in there for my car. It looks like there's just little bits and pieces that it caught. It's pretty uh pretty tough. It's kind of hard for me to actually move it. It's a pretty tough filter, it seems like. And then overall, doesn't look too bad. There another this here. This is where a lot of the sludgy stuff is. Or at least I think that's. It's just yeah, it's just bad oil. I got it filtered out. So it did its job. So put this one aside, and then I'll open up the frame. All right, now onto the frame. The first thing I noticed immediately was how heavy this uh, first plate was. This is very very heavy. Um, not sure why. It's even it's much heavier than the Valvoline. Not just because it's bigger, but just overall. Um, there's the anti drain back valve. And this feels kind of like rubber as well, just like the Babbling. Alright, I move on to the filter. Oh, this one does have paper end caps. Now, by looking at this, this construction looks pretty good for being soaked in oil for like three to five years doesn't look too bad I thought it would be worse as you can see on the frame there doesn't look like there's many uh, pleats in this one cardboard end, ca end caps do not show any sign of um, coming apart they're on there very good I can, if I push real hard I can actually I can hear a little bit of it uh, kind of coming off but it's it's on there good. Overall, this filter does not look too bad. And on the inside of the filter, you've got your bypass valve. And this is the plastic um, spring loaded valve. Which is quite a bit of tension on that. It takes quite a bit to get that spring to move. But there, this is the leaf spring that keeps the filter pressed against the cartridge, and this is the little bypass. So, I'm actually a little impressed with what I've seen here because of uh, comparing with what I've seen on other videos. But there are a lot of people out there that really hate on frame. But overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with this filter. It's not bad. Um, I still don't like paper end caps, but but these have proven uh, to hold up pretty good. And there's a little metal clip here that keeps them together. And on the Vaveline, you can see all the stuff that it filtered out. There's quite a bit of it on, in there. Well, so here they are. All the parts cleaned up. So you can see them in a little bit better detail. And a lot of the sludge that I found had actually been on the back of this anti-drain back valve. And around here, where it seals to. That's where a lot, most of the contaminants were. Uh, this filter was in a uh, in a horizontal position on on the tractor, 
So I'm not surprised that you do all the contaminants went to the side or at the top. And this one here was in um, was at an angle. It's just kind of on a, a slant. And uh, it kind of showed that there too because a lot of the contaminants were more so on one side. The gas gets much thicker on the valvoline than on this one. But you can't really compare because these are two different filters that went on two different things. Both drain back valves appear to be a, like a rubber. Both about the same, they take about the same uh, force to kind of move them. And the uh, cap that screws onto the engine, comparing those two, this one's quite a bit heavier. As you can hear. And then over to the filters. Um, I think Vaveline's got a little bit better of an actual filter because um, it's got more pleats in it and it's also um, got metal on caps which I like um, but on the frame the paper or cardboard end caps held up very well for as long, especially as long as it's been used and kind of abused um, that actually held up really well and then we have this um, leaf spring here that did not have any relief valve on it but it was not needed because it was on a GM engine with a uh, one of those built in on the engine and on the frame it does have one it's just that little paper style or the little plastic valve style that's um, on I think even the current day ones and then the canisters just going by thickness this one's not doesn't take too much to bend it. I'm not really using too much effort. The frame is definitely thicker. It takes a bit more. Now, even this is just plenty. This is plenty thick to use. I don't know the only argument people have is that if it gets hit by a rock, moving at a high velocity or something, that it may uh, damage it and start leaking out of oil. I really don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, these two filters are not too much different. I guess people just consider the end cap the biggest difference. That's what people don't like about Fram. But these this held them very well. This has been uh, used way more than a typical filter would be on a car. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Hopefully the new frame that I put on it, that's a current day one. I just bought that one about a couple weeks ago. So it's the ones that are on the shelves today. Hopefully that one holds them just as well as the ones from you know a decade before that did. Inside of the Valvoline filter, it's got like a spiral design. If I can get it on there, there it is. You can see that it's kind of spiraled. On the frame, it's just got holes. Um, I'm not really too concerned about that. I don't really care if it's, it is or not. I don't. I think the newer frames are spiraled though. But overall, they're both good filters. They both uh, met up to the job that they needed to get done.